Hey everybody, Pastor Jared Johnson here. Uh, today is Thursday and we have a comfort food devotional. Uh, this, is, this is something that is uh, comforting, uh, but maybe a little more challenging. Let me say though, uh, in the challenge there is comfort. So uh, I, I, I will also say if you stand for anything, you will make enemies. There's just, there, there's no way about it. I mean, if you take a position on anything, someone is in position on the other side and they will position themselves as your enemy. Uh, I try not to make enemies of anybody, uh, but sometimes, um, you know, if, if I take a stand, uh, someone just stands up and, and claims to be my enemy. And so the thing about Christianity is, is, is not that we're different in that we never make an enemy because if you stand for good, there will always be something uh, against you, or someone against you. Uh, but the difference about Christianity is how do you treat those enemies? How do you treat those who who don't agree with you or position themselves against you? And so uh, Christianity, like biblical Christianity, is actually very difficult. If you really follow and, and do the teachings of Jesus, it can be very difficult because of the way that you are called to treat those who position themselves against you. I want to read you a passage. Uh, this is in the book of Romans in chapter 12. I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to start in verse 9 through 21 here, but uh, this is what the Bible says, and I hope this is a challenge to you. It has me thinking about uh, the way I've been treating people in my life and uh, what I can do, but uh, check this out. Let love be without hypocrisy. Detest evil. Cling to what is good. Love one another deeply as brothers and sisters. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lack diligence and zeal. Be fervent in the spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction. Be persistent in prayer. Share with the saints in their needs. This is like it's written for right now. Pursue hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Those who, do you know what persecute means? I mean, the people who not only position themselves against you, but are after you. They're against you. They're, they're hurting you in some way. And we are called to bless them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. Instead, associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Man. I mean, these are hard teachings for Christians. When someone does evil against you, you're not to repay it with evil. I mean, we, we don't even have a context for that. Sometimes when I travel, like literally, uh, m maybe the, the priest in your village or the, the pastor in your village has been murdered and you're not to repay evil with evil. Like, I don't even know how God expects us to do this sometimes. Uh, so, so think about this in even the most extreme circumstances. Uh, give careful thought to do what is honorable in everyone's eyes. If possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And I know it's popular to say, well, I don't care what people think about me. But uh, Jesus cares what people think about you. So I'm going to go back to that part. Do not... Repay evil for evil. Give careful thought to do what is honorable in everyone's eyes. If possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. These are hard teachings. Friends, do not avenge yourselves. Instead, leave room for God's wrath because it is written, Vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For in, doing, for in so doing... You will be heaping fiery coals on his head. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. This is the challenge that I have for you, and I think that it leads to comfort. Uh, do not be conquered by evil. If someone does evil to you and you return evil, I, I think that that's what the Bible is saying. You've then been conquered by evil. We're not to conquer evil with evil. We don't conquer hate with hate. We conquer hate with love. We conquer evil with love. So God cares 
uh, about the way that you are handling yourself and the way that you treat others, including your enemies. It's very tough teaching, but when you live this way, you don't have to look over your shoulder wondering if anybody has anything against you. So it is a better way to live. It is a harder way to live. Uh, but if, especially in, in this time, I mean, if ever in this time we will live, and I just read to you Romans uh, 12, 9 through 21, if we will live in this way, uh, then through the way that we treat people, we won't be looking over our shoulder, and, and it will lead you to peace, and it will lead you to a place of position and, and influence, influence on a pedestal of love not on a pedestal of power and authority by what I've done to people to exert myself, but on a pedestal of people respecting what you have to say because they know you, they love you, they know that you are honorable. And so my challenge to you is conquer evil with good. And I believe that God will bring you comfort long-term through that. That's what I have for you today. I hope that you guys will go and check out Romans chapter 12 uh, for yourself. I have a lot to think about through this, and I know you do too. hope you have a blessed day. Uh, if you have prayer requests, be sure to send them into the church, uh, thewoodbridgechurch.com. You can go to uh, uh, our, our website there or thewoodbridgechurch at gmail.com. You can just email us directly, message us here on Facebook. We'd love to pray for you. hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.